start the presentation. Assalamu alaikum sir. My name is Madiha Ali and my father name is Saad Muhammad. I am a student of Batch 10, Section A. My topic is using of dictionary in different activities in class. Hey, BS or MA? Sir, next slide. Are you BS or MA student? Sir, BS. Sir, next. Meaning of a dictionary. A dictionary help us in looking up the correct spelling of the words and question. There are many words. Uh, there are many words are different meaning in the dictionary. A dictionary is a listening of lexemes from the lexicon of one or more specific language of uh, of an arranged alphabetically or by radical or stroke for endographic language, which may include information and definition, usage, etymologies, pronunciation, and translation. You are reading, not explaining. And I have said under times that explain things in your own words rather than reading. Sir, it means a dictionary defines a word or uh, are many different meanings of a word. Improve your dictionary skills by using following 10 vocabulary building strategies you are generated to develop to strong and keep improving it every day. Read, uh, read voraciously, make friends with the dictionary, use it, lost it, learn, for, learn one new word a day, understand the two meaning of words, maintain a personal lexicon, follow a process. Using of dictionaries for classroom. Develop student autonomy. It means uh, uh, dictionary. The uh, uh, dictionary develop karta hai, uh, students ke autonomy ko. Helpful for understanding the meaning. There are the, the many meaning of the word, uh, one word, but dictionary help us uh, help us for the understanding the meaning of the word. Neutral command of English. बहुत सारे जो डिक्शनरी होते हैं वो बहुत सारे मतलब टाइप्स में होते हैं जैसे कि ऑक्सफोर्ड कैम्ब्रिज तो इस वजह से हम लोगों को मतलब पता चलता है उनके मीनिंग अलग-अलग अलग-अलग डिक्शनरीज में अलग-अलग वर्ड्स के अलग-अलग मीनिंग एनहांस कॉन्फिडेंस डिक्शनरीज हमारे कॉन्फिडेंस को बढ़ाती है मेक लर्नर्स फास्ट टू यूज डिक्शनरी Sir, next. Activities consider using dictionary for classroom activities. Where are activities? Sir, again. Sir, again. Activity number one for young and fresh learners and uh, clear their concepts how to use dictionary, alphabetical order, and activate, uh, activity number two. Speedy word, game, listening, skills. So next. Activity number three. Dictionary days. Give dictionary to all. Give them words and limited time. Announce winner. Now, Give dictionary to all. Give them words and limited time. 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 Give them Give dictionary to all. Give them words and limited time. अगर हम लोग क्लास में डिक्शनरी यूज करवा रहे हैं स्टूडेंट्स को तो सबको मतलब सबके पास एक ही डिक्शनरी होना चाहिए एक जैसे ही डिक्शनरी होने चाहिए अलग अलग नहीं होना चाहिए वो सही है लेकिन उससे करेंगे क्या 
सर इससे हम लोग मतलब स्टूडेंट्स को अगर एक वर्ड्स देंगे वो अपने आप के तौर पर मतलब उसको डिफाइन करने के लिए कोशिश करें तो सेम डिक्शनरी अगर होंगे तो उनको एक ही मीनिंग मिलेगा अलग अलग मीनिंग उनको नहीं मिलेंगे इसमें क्या एक्टिविटी हो जाएगी स्टूडेंट्स को क्या सीखने को मिलेगा स्टूडेंट्स को ये सीखने को मिलेगा कि उनको मतलब डिक्शनरी यूज करना आ जाएगा और उनकी जो मतलब डिक्शनरी यूज यूजिंग जो है वो इनहांस हो जाएगी क्योंकि बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स हैं जिनको अभी तक पता ही नहीं होता कि डिक्शनरी यूज कैसे होता है लेकिन ये जो आप बता रहे हैं इससे भी उनको पता नहीं चलेगा चलिए नेक्स्ट सर नेक्स्ट है एक्टिविटी नंबर फोर आर्टिकल रीडिंग फाइन वर्ड एक्सचेंज दैम टू क्लासमेट्स find meaning and write in notebook bilingual to young learners oxford advanced learners to adult ab isme bhi kuch samajh mein nahi aa raha kya bata rahi hai explain karne ka maine kaha aap sirf use read out kar rahi hai to reading pe to aap kuch samajh ja rahe hain aapne explain kiya find words explain them no explanation nothing is there okay carry on that's all सर सर बता यस एक्चुअली आप ने या तो बाकियों का आपने देखा नहीं कि उन्होंने कैसे किया एक्सप्लेन करना होता है एक्सप्लेनेशन प्रेजेंटेशन मीन्स टू टू प्रेजेंट योर आइडियाज इन अ ब्यूटीफुल मैनर ठीक है अगर खाली रीडिंग ही करनी होती ना तो फिर मैं आपसे ये कहता आप प्रेजेंटेशन बना के देते हैं और बस मैं चेक कर लूंगा आपका अपना कहा गया वट वेर वेर आर वेर इज योर ऑन वेर आर योर ऑन एक्सपर्टीज आपने जो एक्सप्लेन करना था वो कहा गया ये तो सिर्फ पॉइंट्स इसको एक्सप्लेन आपने करना था फाइन वर्ड्स हम रात के एक्सप्लेन देम टू क्लासमेट्स क्या कैसे करेंगे फाइन मीनिंग एंड राइट इन नोटबुक इसको कैसे करेंगे व्हाट इज बाइलिंगुअल टू योर यंग लर्नर ये सब आपने एक्सप्लेन करना था ठीक है थैंक यू वेरी मच सर बता दूं बस ठीक है हो गई थैंक यू Yes, Sadaf Hafiz, start. Sadaf Hafiz, are you present? Yes, sir. Start. Assalamualaikum. I am Sadaf Hafiz from Yes English Ten Batch. The title of my presentation is uh, uh, Syllabus Design, Its Type and Importance. So, next slide. Uh, so let's start with the definition according to brown syllabus so design is the selection and organization of instructional content including suggested strategy for presenting content and evolution means uh, syllabus design is the selection of content with some strategy for its presentation next So oh, okay. Uh, now I'd like to turn to uh, to the types of syllabus design. First, we have grammar or structured syllabus. Syllabus for teaching a language is based on grammatical items, and structure is called grammar or structured syllabus. For example, tenses, uh, grammatical rules, and uh, syllabus patterns are included in this type of syllabus. Second is situational syllabus. Uh, in which the selection organization and presentation of language items uh, is based on situation the syllabus is based on different real life situation may include situations like uh, at the bank uh, at home at restaurant at the airport next third we have topic based syllabus in which the content and activities are concerned around topics uh, are centered around topics or themes this syllabus is built around the certain themes like drugs travel sport family 
weather uh, and music next type is functional based syllabus uh, in which the content and language used uh, language is used according to functions this syllabus gives communicative function that are to be taught to the learners like uh, requesting suggesting promising uh, inviting apologizing next sir uh, now we have task based syllabus uh, in which different activities or tasks are given to learners so that they arrive to an outcome from given instruction uh, for example uh, the syllabus may suggest a variety of different kind of tasks uh, such as uh, such as drawing map based on oral instruction last we have skill based syllabus uh, skill based syllabus uh, skill based syllabus is deals with the activities that are related to language skill such as listening reading speaking and writing uh, and include the activities like uh, Uh, getting information through listening radio giving instruction or report letters like uh, now we have importance of syllabus design uh, a well designed syllabus act as a contract learning tool a plan and a communicative device between learners and teacher next is a permanent record of teacher's performance uh, it uh, inform it inform students about the procedure scope assignment and uh, paper requirements means in which criteria exams and assignment will be taken and in it in which way uh, the whole syllabus is going on so that's it voice not coming that's all yes sir okay so you have mentioned six type of syllabus which one is most yes, important sir. which one is the most important type of syllabus and why you have mentioned six types of syllabus sir please repeat the question you have mentioned six types of syllabus which one is most important and why yes sir in sab mein sabse aim kaun sa aur kyun hai सर आई थिंक स्किल बेस्ड सिलेबस व्हाई सर स्किल बेस्ड क्यों क्यों वजह बताएं सर बिकॉज़ इट इंक्लूड ऑल फोर स्किल्स बिकॉज़ सर इट इंक्लूड लैंग्वेज स्किल्स लिसनिंग राइटिंग स्पीकिंग एंड रीडिंग दैट्स व्हाई आई थिंक व्हाट अबाउट फंक्शनल व्हाट अबाउट फंक्शनल सिलेबस इज इज बेस्ड दिस स्किल सर फंक्शनल सिलेबस इज हेल्पफुल इन कम्युनिकेटिव कम्युनिकेटिव पर फंक्शनल सिलेबस आल्सो कंटेन्स दिस आइटम्स ऐसा नहीं कि उसमें से एक ही चीज होगी ऑल द सिलेबस हैव यू नो सम हाउ दिस आइटम्स फंक्शनल व्हाट डू यू से अबाउट फंक्शनल सिलेबस फंक्शनल बेस्ड सिलेबस सर फंक्शनल बेस्ड सिलेबस आई हेल्प लर्नर इन देयर सोशल कम्युनिकेशन ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच Bye-bye. Yes, Alia, have you done? Yeah, are you present? Sauda Matiullah. Yes, sir. I'm playing your one. Why are you so late? Sir, I was not at home. आज से भी लेट हो जाते तो तू प्रेजेंटेशन ही नहीं दे पाते आप नो सर हम लोग सर गांव की तरफ से तो वहां इलेक्ट्रिसिटी की भी बहुत प्रॉब्लम थी सिग्नल की भी बहुत प्रॉब्लम थी स्टार्ट अस्सलाम वालेकुम आई एम सौदा मुतुल्ला आई स्पीक लाउडली एंड क्लियरली थोड़ा आवाज ऊंचा कीजिएगा और क्लियर बोलिएगा क्योंकि आवाज देयर आर सम बैकग्राउंड वॉइसेस फ्रॉम योर साइड Yes. Okay, sir. First of all, I am Sauda Mutulla from BS English, 10th grade. My presentation topic is creative writing. First of all, what is creative writing? Creative writing is also known as the art of making things up. Creative writing also expresses the writer's thoughts and feelings in an imaginative, unique, and impressive way. 
in creative writing writer also expresses a writer or any person who is writing and also expresses his, his or her free thinking which falls in the category of creative writing in creative writing uh, the way of creative writing is not academic or technical but uh, but attracts the audience the so next how does it how does it attract the audience give some examples yes sir how does it attract the audience give some sir. examples means that sir it could be little bit funny or it could be more interesting a new knowledge should be there or new information should be there for example give example as well sir example of what example of writing sir. that is attractive to the audience sir it should be a little bit comic sir dekhe examples aapne ye di hue inko bataye na inke inke bare mein bataye Sir, novels like novels. There is also a story, novella, short stories, scripts, poetry, or drama. Explain them. Novel के बारे में बताएं. Novels क्या हैं? कि बहुत सारे एग्जाम बताएं. Stories, short stories, poetry के बारे में बताएं. Dramas के बारे में बताएं. क्या है? क्या नहीं है? कौन से एग्जाम हैं? इनका मुख्यतः बताएं तो सही कम से कम. सर नॉवेल्स वो है जो मतलब अगर उसके बारे में पहले जो है करेक्टर को पूरा डिस्क्राइब करते हैं वो उसके बाद करेक्टर में करेक्टर के साथ कौन कौन से नहीं सर लाइक नॉवेल्स में जैसे थोड़ी सी वो सस्पेंस क्रिएट कर देते हैं थोड़ा सा रोमांस हो जाता है मिस्ट्री हो जाती है टाइप्स ऑफ नॉवेल्स सर मिस्ट्री मिस्ट्री रोमांस थ्रिलर फैंटेसी और हिस्ट्री फंक्शन सोशल फंक्शन सर यस कैरी और आगे बताएं और थोड़ा एक्सप्लेन करें एक्सप्लेन नहीं करेंगे तो कैसे बात करेंगे खाली एक एक वर्ड से थोड़ी काम चलेगा एक्सप्लेन हर नॉवेल्स में मतलब थोड़ा सा सस्पेंस पैदा करते हैं थोड़ा सा रोमांस पैदा करते हैं कहीं अगर बोरियत हो जाती है तो फिर उसको वो कवर कर लेते हैं थोड़ा सा उसमें खारे डालते हैं ताकि जो बॉडी का स्पीक इंग्लिश स्पीक इन इंग्लिश ओके सर ओके सर नोविला इज शॉर्टर देन नोवेल एंड शॉर्ट स्टोरीज इन विच देयर इज प्लॉट एंड इन देयर इज अ बिगनिंग एंड इन द एंड स्टोरी एंड स्क्रिप्ट व्हाट एवर इज रिटन इन इन कॉपी और इन एनी फॉर्म व्हिच इज प्ले बाय ड्रामास और फिल्म और स्क्रिप्ट एंड पोएट्री writers uh, writers who wrote same lyrics or made about, the words tell about the types of poetry and drama the poetry ke bare mein thoda bata de briefly tell about the types the types of poetry sir yes tell sir? tell tell about the types of poetry briefly briefly there is a sonnet three words and ballad sonnet is 14 line poem uh, considering considering the topic of love or or the thing time with their 14 lines sorry the topic purpose of creating writing 
to entertain people share human experience to create something new to create something informative you are only reading aap se read kar rahi hai jo likha hua hai usko padh rahi no explanation nothing so this is a target for box importance of creating writing creative writing uh, can develop emotional skills means if a child uh, or a person is writing something he or she can also feel the uh, the character character's feelings and emotions improve our sentence uh, creative writing also in, improve our sentence structure vocabulary and use of punctuation help us to communicate uh, effectively in the technological world whenever we start create writing and the writing should be creative then if we will uh, effectively communicate in this technological world by creative writing we can express our point of view thoughts and feelings very clearly so that's it lekin actually presentation was not matlab aisa nahi jaisa hona chahiye explanations आपके सामने इतनी सारी प्रेजेंटेशन भी कम से किसी को देखते हैं आप एक्सप्लेनेशंस आर इम्पोर्टेंट इफ यू ओनली रीड इट विल नॉट गिव यू गुड मार्क्स मैं कई मरत पहले बता चुका हूँ कई स्टूडेंट्स को बता चुका हूँ प्रेजेंटेशन मीन टू प्रेजेंट योर टॉपिक इन अ ब्यूटीफुल मैनर राइट थैंक यू वेरी मच sir um uh, bilal i'm waiting sir if okay uh, who is there if you give me chance bilal sir bilal Where your where your uh, Asanda is present? Bilal. Okay, I am playing playing your presentation, Mr. Bilal. Yes, sir. Start. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. This is Zai Bilal. So my presentation topic is characteristics of a good learner. Yes, I mean. Uh, we have to consider. Yes. Yeah, M S R M first year. I didn't mention. It. Uh, so here, uh, characteristics of good uh, learner. We have to consider these things uh, in order to. Uh, uh, show a students character so first of all their backgrounds uh, so it is it really matters because uh, we have to know where the student co comes from and there is background and his behavior all the things that come from there is background and the second thing uh, why they are in the classroom so a student must know they are in the classroom for learning so this is also the matter and most of the students they do not pay uh, eat in the classroom and the students who are uh, well for learning so they always uh, take their uh, precious attention in the classroom uh, different methods uh, a student actually apply different matter uh, methods for getting the things and even the teacher also apply different methods for making student understands and uh, another thing students uh, personality uh, this is one of the very main thing even most of the teachers uh, many teachers they like the student uh, not all the time because of their uh, learning abilities but sometimes teachers like students because of their personality and their their politeness uh, how much they practice and practice is very necessary for the student uh, in order to uh, be a good student and Uh, to prove himself he really needs to do practice uh, air sir uh, may you move ahead yes uh, what teachers think is a good learner so 
teacher always consider uh, a learner because of their homework or their uh, assignment uh, and also their presentation how they do it so it is uh, the most important thing to judge a student it is all about his homework and his assignment these are very necessary for a student and in in this case a student should do his homework and uh, uh, to prove himself a good student he should always be um, he should always be there for their homework and the assignments yes sir sir yes uh, who is responsible for learning so it is very easy to 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 answer um, most of the time most not but all the time teach uh, student is uh, totally responsible for his learning teacher is only someone who 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 teaches and guide uh, and uh, make the students guide for things but it is all about the student to get the things so self study self study actually comes through textbooks exercise uh, ex exercises tape and video recorders so through them they they do self study and they get the things self access and from where they access the things uh, more, their own interest and needs uh, this is uh, all about uh, students' needs. They can get that things from internet or library or and from books. So, but uh, first of all, he is willing and uh, his interest is there for getting the things. Uh, then he learn and then he uh, prove himself. Uh, learning is a partnership between teacher and student. As I actually mentioned earlier, it is uh, a partnership from a uh, student and the teacher to get the things. Teacher also only guides and uh, make the student uh, understand the things, but all about it is on a student uh, to learn to get. Yes, sir. May you move ahead? Uh, what are good learners' characteristics? So here are characteristics of good learner. Learners' correct, uh, motivation. Motivation is uh, one of the essential uh, actually uh, things here. Uh, when a student is motivated, uh, so he learned the things very easily. Uh, here, I actually just mentioning my own experience. Once I went to uh, an academy where a teacher actually motivated us uh, for one month. So I, I myself actually found, found myself some positive things there uh, rather than other places because it is all, it all about came from motivation. Learning style, learning style. Actually, every student has their own different learning styles. So, genius one, they always have um, uh, good and uh, uh, learning styles. So, they prove themselves better. Uh, learning strategies. Uh, students, uh, I, I actually students have different learning st strategies. Some students learn at night, some evening, some morning. So every student has their own different learning strategies to get the things to command on the things. Maturity, maturity. Uh, actually, student. Uh, it, it 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 is all about the students' uh, behavior, how they mature by behavior, and uh, grown up uh, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Past learning uh, experience. So it is also when teacher and. Um, Tutor teaches things, so their students uh, sometimes the student got the things very easily because their past learning experience are so good, and the teacher who used to teach them they were so uh, genius to teach the things. So here the student actually changed because of them. Conclusion: Having these characteristics will help you uh, become an effective learner. So actually, these all the things that uh, were mentioned. Uh, these are actually things when a student get them and command on them and understand them so they can can prove himself as a good student and their characteristics uh, would be improved so you will you will be able not to adopt but also to thrive in a changing world actually uh, so when a student uh, have these all abilities so what is the most important will... what is the most important characteristics of a student Sir, the most, uh, the most important characteristic. Important. Yes. Sir, uh, learning strategies. Characteristic of a student, my dear. Uh, student, 
स्टूडेंट का बताएं कि व्हाट इज द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ अ स्टूडेंट सर मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम इट इज अकॉर्डिंग टू मी इट इज देयर बिहेवियर एक्चुअली बिहेवियर मींस behavior how they perform in the classroom and uh, how they understand the things and how they behave with the elders and how they behave with the teachers and their classmates most important one of the most important thing is their submissive attitude when they obey you obedience any of thank you very much thank you sir thank you yes Who is there? Sadia Gaffar, have you done? No, sir. So I'm playing your one right now. Okay. Start. Good morning, everyone. This is Sadia Gaffar from BS Tenth Batch, and today my presentation topic is vocabulary games. Sir, please start the slide. okay uh, first of all uh, why we teach vocabulary learners depend on vocabulary as their resources because learners with poor vocabulary level get frustrated uh, easily in trying to express their uh, their thoughts because our rich vocabulary makes uh, uh, the skill of listening speaking reading and writing uh, easier to perform let me change the slide okay why we use games games provides a student a break uh, because when children play while study, uh, studying uh, they have more fun and more interested and can learn more uh, games allow students to practice vocabulary skills uh, children read with games they remember that vocabulary very quickly uh, because the mindset of uh, children is toward games Uh, when we teach student uh, through games, they learn more vocabulary quickly. Sir, so next slide. Okay. Pro problems in learning vocabulary. Uh, the teacher's explanation is boring because when teacher uh, teaches in a very boring way, uh, the the students are not interested in it. the teachers starts uh, teaching and continuously taking classes uh, the children will not be able uh, to read like this sir so next slide how games solve the problem uh, increase the students motivation uh, the problem is that uh, many students are not motivated to learn Uh, even with the uh, perfect lesson plan and unmotivated students will not learn uh, so, and some teacher claim that uh, uh, motivating the students is not their job it's a teacher's job to know the content and to teach it well and and the students must take responsibility uh, for his or her learning and find own motivation uh, make the lesson more interesting Uh, there are many techniques and skills that can make a teacher uh, effective in in my opinion being an effective teacher means allowing an in, uh, an environment that enables the students to learn in in the classroom to their best abilities sir so next how games uh, solve that problem, problem. तो यहाँ पे भी ग्रामेटिकल आपकी मिस्टेक से गेम के साथ सॉल्व होगा और डेट के साथ प्रॉब्लम्स नहीं होगा डेट प्रॉब्लम होगा ये सारी चीजें ऑनलाइन जाए ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर ऑनलाइन एंड दीज विल बी अपलोडेड टू द यूट्यूब ये सब रिकॉर्ड में याद रखेगा आप लोगों का ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर ऑन द रिकॉर्ड नॉट ऑफ द रिकॉर्ड वोकेबुलरी गेम्स uh the first one is 20 objects uh, uh put 20 objects on a table and give students a minute to memorize them uh, uh, and cover the objects with a cloth and ask to, uh, the students to write down as many as they can remember because uh, you might choose to use subjects related to your uh, current module to, of study or uh, that are connected in some other way uh, and the second one is table uh, this is a great way 
uh, to get a student speaking and practice your uh, unit's vocabulary. Because in Tebu, one student must communicate a, a concept or word to their partner without using uh, a specific list or related words. So next. What do you mean by Tebu? Uh, sir, uh, Tabu, sir, for example, uh, students must make their partner say uh, if, a, uh, if, if they use a word forest, yet they are not allowed to use the, the word tree or woods. Uh, once their partner say the word, the students switch role. Sir, so it's Tabu. Tabu means words which are not appropriate, inappropriate words. So yes, are you sure that this is a kind of game? Yes, sir. From where have you picked this one? Kahan se aapko ye mila? Kahan se aapko ye game mili? Source batayein. Sir, Google. Google. Jo books aapko di thi, unme se aapne search nahi ki. Sir, ki hai? Wo sir, wahan pe bahut sari game hai. Sir, bahut. Books aapko di na? Sir, maine bas in dono. Sir, maine bas in dono ke baare mein padha. ये तो आपको और भी तो बताना चाहिए था ना गेम्स बहुत सारी गेम चार पांच गेम्स उठाती है और फिर वो बुक्स से उठाती है ऑथेंटिक सोर्सेस से उठाती है ठीक है अच्छे मार्क्स हासिल करने के लिए स्टडी करनी पड़ती है मुताला करना पड़ता है एंड यू हैव टू एवरीवन हैज टू स्टडी डीपली देन यू कैन गेट यू नो गुड मार्क्स हियर एज़ वेल एज़ इन द फाइनल टर्म एग्जाम्स एंड आल्सो इन द असाइनमेंट मिड टर्म एग्जाम्स So the last one is, is the conclusion. Uh, as conclusion, learning English through games is an effective and interesting way that can be applied in any classroom because games are used not only for uh, fun merely, uh, but more importantly for the useful practice and review of language lessons to practice and review of uh, language and to improve learners. Uh, your topic is vocabulary games, but you have only mentioned two games. वो भी second वाले का पता ही नहीं था. So at least you should have mentioned four to five games with their examples and with their all uh, you know uh, settings. Anyhow, thank you very much. <clears throat> yes, how many are remaining now? अब कितने students बाकी रहेंगे? जल्दी बताएं. Because today is the last. Sir, बाकी तो online सिर्फ मैं आप और सादिया ही बच्चे हो कोई नहीं तीन बच्चे हैं और कौन सादिया बची हैं आप आपका व्हाट्स योर नेम सर आई हैव गिवन मैं दे चुका हूं लेकिन ऑनलाइन बस ये तीन हैं अभी इस वक्त सिर्फ ओनली बिलाल सादिया तो सादिया कैन यू लिसन टू मी यस सर ओके आई विल स्टार्ट आफ्टर 5 मिनट्स अभी भी स्टूडेंट्स की तादाद है 10 से 15 जो के बाकी है आई एम गिविंग देम अगेन